I was told that this is not a day of celebration or dedication, but an unveiling. I thought about those words and I came to the conclusion, it is an unveiling. It is an unveiling of an important part of history that extends beyond black or white, beyond black history. Today's definitive action of Name A Street after the heroic men of Marfa Point Marines is another great step, a beacon of light, signifying the ideals of justice and equality that our nation was founded upon. It was these ideals that brought 20,000 African Americans through the gates of Marfa Point Camp and proved that patriotism is indeed colorless. For this is not just Marine Corps history or black history, it is American history and the world should know. Most people know about the uh, Buffalo Soldiers and the Tuskegee Airmen. Most people don't know about the Marfa Point Marines. So it's a great day to share their story and talk about their history. And it's given me the opportunity to become a Marine because without those Marfa Point Marines, I would not have had the opportunity to become a United States Marine. Well, the Marfa Point Marines were great Marines. Um, and when you think about the conditions and the circumstances of the country at the time, if these men were willing to serve their country and fight for a country that segregated against them, and they chose to do so as United States Marines, to me it's a significant event elevating those Marines as they should be. I stood on their shoulders as well. The Marine Corps taught us, those of us who are in the Marines, there's no black or white. The only color in the Marine Corps is green. One color, one team. They are true pioneers, for they have walked the hollow grounds of Marfa Point Camp and persevered through a time of racial divide in a society that didn't want them. They had to fight for the right to fight. You see, on August 26, 1942, exactly 79 years ago, the first African-American Marine recruit, Howard P. Perry from Charlotte, North Carolina, would report to the segregated training area located 350 miles from where their white counterparts trained at Paris Island, South Carolina. Because of the sacrifices, perseverance, and commitment of the Marfa Point Marines, tens of thousands of Americans and Marines are reaping the benefits and stand on the shoulders of these pioneers. I would not be standing here a Lieutenant General in the United States Marine Corps if they did not want to be Marines. When we hear the slogan that they fought for the right to fight, that's exactly what they did. When they came through the gates, when Howard Perry led the first ones on August 26, 1942 into Marfa Point, that's what he was doing. They didn't have to come, but they came because of their patriotism and they wanted to make sure that the world knew that patriotism was colorblind. We stand on your shoulder so that we can look and see the horizons of what is to come. That's the opportunity that you gave us. Uh, and as the city of Charlotte goes to replace street names that honors uh, Confederate soldiers and those who perpetrated hatred and racism, today we move forward by putting a positive spin on who we are as a community. Don't worry, we'll make a call once I leave. <laughs>